Good evening. Ya casi no me Cuando llegue, él se va a tomar la pizza. Ok, Reina. I got it. Hello, Edwin. Good evening. Oh, you're driving. Okay. Be careful. Good evening, teacher. Hi, right, good evening. Oscar, you're not working today? Yes, teacher. You're working, okay. Hey, do you work in a call center or what? Yes, uh, it's in Banco. Oh, okay. Espanol. At a bank in Spanish, okay. Yeah. Okay, I got you. We're really late. Hasta las 12. Wow. Me imagino que hace back office. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's wait just a minute for the others. Vamos a esperar un minutito por los demás. Hello, Ursula. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, and you? I'm doing good, too. Excited about tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> Today, finally. <laughs> tomorrow is our last day, actually. Tomorrow, yes. Yeah.
Okay, so, so far we are eight, well, seven. Let's start the class with the attendant. Okay, Alexa Marcela Cibrian de Montenegro. Arely Isabel Campos Hernandez. No. Dalila Abigail Hernandez Melendez. Daisy Carolina Angulo de Sánchez, Edwin Esaú, Galdames Calderón, sé que va manejando y por eso no, no se preocupe. Ya, ahí está la asistencia, buen tranquilo. Elizabeth del Carmen Vázquez Pérez, Erling Melquisedec Castro Cortés. I'm here, teacher. Good. Please try to turn on your camera if possible, just for a minute. Henry Giovanni Rivas Rivera. Irma Noemí de Jesús Martínez. Yes, I'm teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Beatriz Mejía Cepeda. Jill Yvonne Mejíbar de Castellanos. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Catherine Beatriz Reyes Ventura. María Epifania Castro. Marta Marisol Castillo Valladares. Present teacher. Okay. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Yeah. Reina Elizabeth García Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Silvia Evelyn Romero Bautista. Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio Orellana. And Ursula Esteli Gómez Martínez. Present. Thank you. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven students so far. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay. So how was your day today, Ursula? Um, well, um, it was uh, very, I was very busy. Busy. Mm -hmm. uh, what to do? Uh, many reports and uh, I was very stressed. Really? Wow. Okay. Why were you stressed? Uh, what do you do? Are you an accountant? No, yeah. but. Uh, I made reports for accounting department. For accounting. You make reports for accounting. For accounting. And I have a, a deadline. You have a deadline. A deadline for, for these reports. Yes, this is deadline. Mm -hmm. I see. Do you like your job? Yes, I like. How long have you worked for this company? I have worked here around 15 years. 15? I have worked for 15 years in this company. Wow. That's a long time. I That's guess time. they love you already. Yeah. I enjoy my job. Your job. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. Ask me any questions. Any questions?
What did you do last week? Last week. Last week. Let me see. Last week. Huh. <clears throat> well, last week was very busy, busy, but the usual stuff, you know. I. Oh well, last week was still, I think, the vacation period. No. No, it was the week. Yeah, it was the week after the vacations. So actually, uh, I did the usual things, you know, the home chores, cleaning the house, doing homeworks with the kids, and being on a diet, <laughs> which is, is really working for me. But you know what I ate today? What was my dinner? Mm. You know what was my yeah. dinner? Today. Uh, I ate an anona and that's it. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's it. Just an anona. Oh my that, that sounds God. weird. An anona. Just an anona. anona. <laughs> yeah, that's all I, I had for, for dinner. That's all I had for dinner. And, and you know, I was reading actually because I'm I'm getting informed on what I ate. And I, I read that anonas are very nutritive. It's a very nutritive fruit. It prevents mm -hmm. cancer. It helps to increase your energy. And it has a lot of uh, antioxidants. So, and it's a de detox fruit as well. So it, there's a lot of value on that fruit, I guess. But, but that diet is it made um, yourself or adopted? No, it's called Leyeta el Huevo. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not, uh, I, I think that is, that is a little dangerous because you, you, you don't eat. So you think it's da of... dangerous for the health? Yes, I think. Especially for, for men because the men need to eat more more food. More. <laughs> and if you eat only an anoma, uh, I don't know if you are okay in, uh, in one week. One week really? only eating eggs. No, actually, yeah, I feel great. I feel very good. <laughs> and the really? problem, yeah, I feel fine. Really? Not normal, really. The only thing is that, well, with me is that, um, how can I tell you this? Um, I haven't stopped eating sugar. Mm. And that's not good. <laughs> That's definitely not good. Mm -hmm. And beverages, sweet beverages, I think that that's very nocive, nocive for your health. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I know I could go down more on my weight if I could stop mm -hmm. um, eating so much sugar well i don't eat a lot of sugar it's just the coffee it's just the coffee that's the thing do you do any sort of diet mm, no. No. not at all i hope you you stay to happy group or you you have been okay. I didn't get your question. Do it again. No, it's not a question. I hope you say okay. I thought you said. I hope you say okay. Hmm. 
I, I thought you you were okay. I'm not getting your comment. Espero que esté bien. Oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I just sent the the. I hope they don't bother. I hope they don't mind. But I just I just sent the the diet to the chat. I just really? sent it. I want you to to see what I what I well today's Thursday. Look at Thursday. Okay, I will follow. <laughs> yeah, and it works. It works. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to have a conversation with you guys because we are only eight right now and we have a lot to work to do to work on. Eduardo, how are you tonight? Super, super, super fine, super fine. Oh, that's awesome. So you're awesome. Did you work today? Yes. Okay. How's your knee? The, the yesterday, yesterday, finally the vacation. Wait, yesterday you finished your vacations? Yes. Wow. How many days were you on vacation? 15. 15 days on vacation. I'm planning, I'm thinking about taking my vacations soon because I have an event at church and they don't want to authorize me a permission to go. So, and it's very important. So I must, I think I must take the vacations soon at the end of September. And I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens. And also on November, uh, November 15th is my 15th anniversary, you know, or wedding anniversary. So I'm planning to, I'm planning to bring mariachis and, um, you know, sing, maybe show up with a horse. <laughs> but the most important thing is to renew, renew our vows. I think that's, that's, that's going to be amazing. 15 years. I mean, it's, it's a long time. Some people may say, oh, no, it's just 15 years. Wait for the 25th anniversary. <laughs> but man, time goes by flying, but when you're married, it goes slowly. So, Eduardo, tell me something about yourself. Yeah, me. yeah anything, anything. You like cars? Or motorcycles. I, I like cars. The motorcycle, no bad. It's no no. It dislike for me. I dislike motorcycles. Okay. Yeah. yeah me too. I don't, I don't like motorcycles. It's my my grandma used to say that motorcycles are the death. I prefer uh, go to my job in bicycle. By bicycle. Yes. Because I work near to my house. Wait, I work near my house. Uh, I work near my house. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's very common. When you say near, you say to. No, I work near my house. Really? So you you? But I thought you work. Yeah. Uh, you work at how the airport. You, how, how do you say? Eh, paso por callejones de cantones. Eh, no pasa nada de, de transporte. Paso Only por callejones de cantones. Okay, I go through um, small I villages, go. small, I will say small villages, uh, alleys, small villages, alleys. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, I go through a small villages, alleys, and only, only one kilometers, or oh, a kilometers and, and bicycle to my house, to my, my work. How many kilometers? One, one. Al salir de mi casa, por ejemplo, les mostré aquel día el video, cómo estaba el río, ¿verdad? No es el lugar donde vea. Solo me cruzo esa pasarela y me voy adentro en un callejón. Salgo a la, ya, a la autopista, casi por el Pato Canales. Ajá. Y del Pato Canales agarro el bypass que han hecho el nuevo. Oh, ok. Me incorporo a la autopista San Salvador, que... 150, 150 meters. 150 meters. And I, and I arrive 
mayor mayor that's easy okay no i i had the perception that you worked at the airport yes yes right when when past the when across the pato canales you're you're right at the new paso de nivel the airport oh when you across that you you right you uh -huh. when you across your right you goes to the airport when you but turn I, you turn when right you, when you turn right you go to the airport you get when to you airport. when you cross to your left and you go to the san salvador to san salvador and when i when i when i cross to your left uh, i walking 150 meters and he, 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 and this in this moment i i arrived my job as easy as that as easy as that okay but how long it's does very, it, it it takes you a while near. it's very near to my house it's very near my house awesome that's really good i i, I thought you were talking uh, when you said pato canales i thought about carretera santa ana so i was like no no right that's the other way yeah i don't know it's that carretera, place. Carretera San mm -hmm. okay wow i, I remember <laughs> i <laughs> i remember i used to take a shortcut i used to take a shortcut um when we, we used to live in el puerto we went to to el aeropuerto to the airport like twice or three times we went to the airport through that route going through the litoral all the way then we used to reach i think that is uh juanistalpa and then you take a turn to the right and you are there already you reach the aviation military aviation base if you go through from, from El Puerto, you take all the litoral, then you do a right, and then you, you are at the aviation base. Does that sound familiar? What is avi aviation? What is the meaning of aviation? The aviation base, uh, the military aviation base, la base militar de aviación que está al salir de esta calle. O sea, vivíamos en El Puerto, agarramos todo el litoral, Recto, todo, toda la carretera es recta y de ahí pasábamos un río de hecho, como un puente seguíamos recto y ahí a la derecha hay como, es como un callejón prácticamente que lleva hacia, esa, hacia la calle principal a unos metros de, de, del aeropuerto al salir en esa calle salíamos a una intersección donde hay un avión antiguo ¿será ahí? eso es en el Opango ese, no, no en el aeropuerto. O sea, y no es del puerto de la libertad. ¿Ya? Eh, es decir, imagínense que está en la báscula, en el faro. ¿Ya? Entonces, en lugar de cruzar a la derecha, hacer el puerto, cruza a la izquierda. Y se va como por San Diego y todo eso, toda esa calle. Ok. Toda, toda esa calle, hasta okay. llegar a un punto en el que recuerdo que cruzábamos a la derecha. Y era como un, un pasillo enorme. Y al final de ese pasillo era que ya empezaba la calle hacia el aeropuerto. Y al salir de esa calle es una intersección donde hay a veces accidentes ahí. Eh, y ahí hay un avión, hay un, varios aviones viejos. No, ya no están. Ya no están. No, tengo usted, tengo vaya, rato. Sí, tengo sí, sí, si usted viene del puerto, le da, como usted dice, en lugar de agarrar eh, el faro a la izquierda para San Salvador. Ajá. Sigue recto, ¿verdad? Viene, viene hacia San Diego, luego pasa Cangrejera, luego va a pasar San Mistalpa, de San Mistalpa va a agarrar la intersección a la derecha, que lo lleva a Pato Canales. Y de ahí va, va a agarrar la otra intersección a la derecha, que lo lleva al aeropuerto, o si agarra hacia la izquierda, lo lleva hacia San Salvador. Pero ya no están Exacto. los aviones que usted dice, pero sí ah, al llegar okay. al aeropuerto, usted, usted va a ver algunas colas de los aviones porque ya pusieron muro a todo alrededor. ¿Qué? A todo, todo, ya no se logra ver. Porque Cuando iba por la playa Las Hojas, usted podía ver la base militar y podía ver los aviones militares que estaban más próximos uh -huh. a la carretera esa, a Las Hojas, a la playa Las Hojas. 
y al fondo la pista y los aviones. Hoy ya no, hoy ya todos le pusieron muro. Ok. Creo que sí. Uh... Definitivamente, sí, esa era la, esa era la ruta por San, Juan, San Luis Talpa, correcto. Por San Luis Talpa. Bien raro, recuerdo que llevamos esa intersección y ahí cruzábamos a la derecha y era un pueblito, esa intersección es un pueblito. Es, es bien bonito. La verdad, recuerdo que una vez ajustamos un carro, un Toyota Yaris que teníamos y ahí lo fuimos a sentar. O sea, nos echamos todo el camino bien lento, no pasábamos de 60 para que se sentara y ahí nos regresamos. Y ya al regreso sí lo corrimos y ya se sentó. Pues ahí, interesante. Wow, ok. So, we are nine so far. Let's start uh, the class tonight. We have to go through some reading first. And here it is. This is page 47. These are penultimate. Penultimate, I think is the way you say it. The last class is tomorrow. And tomorrow we have our... Um, We have our survey. Tenemos la encuesta de satisfacción mañana. No la vayan a hacer ustedes solos. Eh, hay que esperar para poder hacerla juntos en clase. Es un requisito ir paso a paso durante la clase. Nos va a acompañar alguien de administración para poderla realizar. Para los que ya han estado, pues esto no es nuevo, pero para los que es primera vez que están en esas clases, pues no realizar ese correo que ya les llegó. Uh, vamos a hacer la encuesta juntos mañana durante la clase, okay? So, we have this reading. This is the first step of the lesson plan to go through this reading um, on page. Hold on. It says 43 here, but I don't think that's 43. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a conversation on page 43, which we haven't done. We, and it's very short. Where do you usually request the permission form? Who is the last person who signs them? Well, let's practice this conversation together. And just here, I'm not going to split you. We are just nine. So listen, it says, good afternoon, Ashley. By the way, don't say afternoon. <laughs> afternoon. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company, our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures, procedures and rules, rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first and continues. Okay. So. Um, let's practice. Let's see who does it better. I'm going to start with Ursula because I only have two students with their camera on. Two out of nine. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ray, good afternoon, Ursula, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yeah. yet. Yeah. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's switch. Switch, okay. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Mm -hmm. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want, want to start? Mm, what about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Good job. Okay. Let me go with Eduardo. Same, same practice. Let's do it. Okay. Want me to start? Okay. Good afternoon, Eduardo, and welcome to our company. 
Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Hmm. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about if you request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, switch. Okay. Good afternoon, teacher, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Eduardo. Do you know the pro do you know the producers and rules oh, of procedures, our company? Procedures, procedures. Uh, do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? Mm, what about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to them to you. Pairs. <laughs> you got it. Okay, Jill, are you there? I saw Jill. Of course, working. Catherine, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, help me reading. Okay, I'm going to start. Ready? Okay. Good afternoon, Catherine, and welcome to our company. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ham. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Uh, what about how to request a uh, permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, let's okay. switch. Go ahead, Catherine. Uh, good afternoon. Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Uh, do you know the procedure and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Mm, what about how to request the permission? Uh, sound good? I will explain them to to you first. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Welcome. Okay. Jill, are you there? No. Okay. Reina. Aquí estoy, teacher. Oh, Jill. Okay. <laughs> Good, Jill. Good afternoon, Jill, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hack. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, let's switch. Good afternoon, Ashley. Uh, good afternoon, teacher. <laughs> yeah, welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the hmm. procedures? Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Uh, where do you want to start? What about how to request the permission? Sounds good. I will explain them. Do you first? Good job. I will explain it to you first. Da -da -da. Okay, Henry Seek. Uh, Reina, are you there? Maria? Just one more. Oh, yeah. Okay. You are in the bus. Still. I miss that sound. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to travel by bus very often from Santa Ana to San Salvador. I used to visit my uncle before moving here. I'm talking about 1996, 1997. <clears throat> Ooh. And they, they stolen my, my cap, you know, twice. They stolen my cap twice because I used to sleep in the bus. 
I was like 14, 15, 16, somewhere around there. Okay, let's I move on. I think sleep because it's very full of us. You can it, see that. <laughs> it's very crowded. <laughs> A lot of people, yeah. It's, it's very crowded. It's, <laughs> how do you say is kuche in English? What? How do you say is kuche in English? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, like in Salvadorian, that's the way you say it, right? Start coach. Okay, you say it's crowded. Uh, it's crowded. Yeah, it's crowded. Okay, the bus is crowded. Okay, don't worry, Maria. Okay, so everybody, who's Ashley? Who is Ashley? What do you think? Who is Ashley? Is she a manager? Is she an employee? She's an employee, okay. Yeah, she's an oh, Well, what kind of employee? Is she a tenured employee? Is she a tenured employee? How do you, what, what's the meaning of tenured? What's the meaning of tenure? Is when you own the floor right. Es cuando tienes derecho de piso, yeah. A tenure employee. For example, Ursula, you are a tenure employee. You have 15 years in your company. Yes. I am I am a tenure employee in my other job. I have three years. Okay. Do you, did you get it? Tenure? Okay. Or is she a rookie? Is she a rookie? Wait, I might be misspelling here. I can't remember. Oh, no. I can't remember the spelling of rookie. It's like when someone, someone's new. No, I can find it. Oh, I think it's double O. Hold on. Yeah, a rookie. The newbie, the new person at work. Yeah, this is the right spelling. Sorry, guys. Rookie. Is she a rookie employee? Yes. She's a rookie. She's a okay. Yeah, she's a rookie employee. Uh newcomer as well. I think it's double M. A newcomer. Yeah, she's a newcomer, one M. And is all together. So newcomer. When you're new at work, you know. And how do you call this stage? How do you call this stage of your job? Your very first day at work, when they walk you through the company, how do you call that? There's a name for that. And it's very similar in Spanish and in English. How do you call that stage of being new? First day at work. No idea? You don't remember. It's called the induction stage. It's the induction. 
So here are the bathrooms. There is a bathroom on each floor. Um, if you use the stair, make sure you use the handrail. Uh, if you use the elevator, and make sure you don't do it when it's crowded, you know, during lunch hours, it's always crowded. Um, then that's your office. You have the photocopying machine is on at the, at the end of the of the uh, place. You know, there's a breakout room. You can use the fridge as well. So they show you the, around, right? They show you around. That's what, that's what they do on the very first day. Showed you around. That's the mission of human resources during the first day. To show you around. And you spend many hours, actually. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> getting to know everybody, getting to know the the company, right? Okay, so yeah, she is a new employee. Okay, she's a new employee. Let's see. Um, who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Who's that person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? A human report on course. Human resources. Human resource, what? Uh, Human resource, it could be specialist, analyst, what else? Human resource, uh, I forgot a name. There's another name they are using nowadays. Generalist, specialist, analyst. Um, I forgot the other word. But yeah, it's someone from the human resources department, right? And specifically, from there's an induction. There's an induction person in charge who's, who always walks around new employees. And sometimes they do it in, in, in groups, right? You have other newcomers. You're not the only one. Okay. Let's see the lesson plan now. Okay. So talking about yesterday's class, if you remember, what did we learn yesterday? We talked about if and when, right? Yes, a special condition. Okay. So let's see. You may start on your own. You may start on your notebook.
Los voy a poner a prueba. Hemos visto idioms. Okay, this should be easy for you. You need to translate this on your notebook. Eh, vamos a hacerlo primero en su cuaderno y luego me ayudan todos y vamos a traducirlo, ¿ok?
Okay, please place an emoji when you're ready, okay? Whenever you're ready, put an emoji on your Zoom. Okay, I think that's enough time. Do you need more time? Do you need more time? Just a little bit. Okay, I'll wait for you, Ursula.
I'm just making you time. Okay, time's up. Let's go with the first sentence. Si trabajo más horas, gano más dinero. If I work more, If I work more hours, Our, I win mm -hmm. more money. I, I earn more money. Earn, yes. It's not win, it's earn. Good job. If I work more hours, I earn more money. Good job. Do we need a comma? Do I need a comma here? Hmm. Yes, yes. You need a comma. Hours. Yes, remember if or when, if, if, or if, when comes at the beginning, then you need a comma. Okay. Next, yo madrugo cuando hay tráfico, Reina. Yo madrugo cuando hay tráfico. I care. I what? I care. I care. Get up early. Okay. Uh, when? When? Eh, uh, I see. No sé si es así. <laughs> uh, there are. Oh. Traffic. <laughs> Can you count the traffic? <laughs> One traffic, two traffics, three traffics. Mm. Uh, when there is traffic there. this is we we studied this there is there are remember i get up early when there is traffic good job number three muchas veces tomo un uber si debo viajar cerca jill hey eduardo in the in the last sentences, I read or I read them. I earlier when there is traffic. Mm. I you, earlier. Yo madrugo. Is correct or not correct? No. Uh huh. No, you cannot say I, er earlier, I earlier. Is informal or is possible? Or is not possible? I've or never. It's not possible. I've never used that. I get up early, that's like madrugar. It's the only way you will find madrugar. You could say, I wake up at down. There's another way you could say it. I wake up at down. 
I wake up at down. I wake up at down. I wake up at down. When there when there's traffic, I wake up at down when there's traffic. When there's traffic, I wake up at down. What is down? El amanecer. What? Yes. It's not just sunrise. You can say down. And you can also say downing. Madrugada, downing. Um, the same way, sunset. What is the sunset? Exactly, dusk. Sunrise, um, amanecer, right? Sunset, atardecer. Then you can say dusk, para decir atardecer too. I go to bed at dusk. Okay, number Three, muchas veces tomo un Uber si debo viajar cerca. Many times I take an Uber if I should near travel. Hmm. Again, many times I take an Uber, an Uber. If? if I should near travel. I should near travel. Mm, I don't like this sentence. I should near travel. How can you say devil? En la palabra cada rato le repito el banco, usted debe, yo debo. debo. <laughs> no, no, not in that context. <laughs> no en ese contexto. <laughs> Come on. Must. If I must. must, okay, pero eso es, ojo, eso es el mayor imperativo, eh. If I must. Okay. What? ¿Qué dice la regla de los modales? Okay, aplicamos la regla de los modales. Sujeto, modal. Exactly, the verb. Sujeto, modal, verbo, complemento. If I must travel near. If I must travel near. If I must travel close. If I have to travel a short distance, I don't know. There are many ways. Hay muchas maneras de decir esto. Jill again. Sorry, Jill, de nuevo. No, teacher, estaba practicando. Okay, okay. No, está bien. ¿Por qué? Perdón. It's, it's okay. If I must travel near, if I have to travel close. Okay. Si voy tarde para el trabajo, le aviso a la recepcionista para que cubra las espaldas. Para que me cubra las espaldas. Para que cubra las mías espaldas. Reina. Ya lo hice así. Ajá, uh -huh, let's see. If I will go to lay a job, I call in at the reception at the receptionist for her take her take care of my bags or the bags. Yo lo hice así. Okay. Eso es literal. Okay. Pero estás ocupando futuro. Si voy tarde. Es una acción ahora en, en presente, de hecho. Una pista, se ocupa el verbo to be. 
y no, ING, no se ocupa ING. Otra pista, ok, so if el verbo to be yeah. en el verbo de frecuencia, hey. I, I put when I use the bus. Again. When I miss the bus. Uh, when I miss the bus. The bus, bus. Pero no es esa la oración. When I When I miss the bus. The bus. Bus. Oh, oh, the bus? Bus. It's a medium. I'm going to go. que se le está cortando un poco. No sé si quiere decir cuando pierdo el bus. When I miss the bus. Perdón, Ursula, casi no le escucha. Okay. If I go, no, no, teacher, oh. if, if I go late to work. If I go late to work, okay. I, I call up the receptionist. I call out the receptionist. Call up. Call up, call up the receptionist. Mm -hmm. To cover me. To cover me. To cover me. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, that, this is the point. Okay. Intentarlo, no? Okay. To cover my my back. <laughs> to cover my back. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Bien, hay una camisa que me encanta, eh, que es de Stickmans. No sé si saben qué son los Stickmans. Sí. <laughs> Muñequitos de, de palitos, lo que uno hace cuando no puede dibujar. Y está, están dos. Como el ahorcado. Ajá, exacto. Y están dos muñequitos <ríe> en la camisa. Y dice la camisa, I got your back. I got your back. Y uno uh -huh. de los muñequitos le tiene la espalda, literal. El palito de la espalda se lo tiene en la mano al otro. <ríe> Don't worry, I got your back. <ríe> literal, ¿verdad? Entonces, a, a ver. ¿Cómo digo? Si voy tarde. If I'm late. If I am late. If I'm late. Okay. To work. I call up. Okay. I call up the receptionist. <laughs> to cover my back. Si. Sí, se puede. To get my back. To cover me up. To get my back. Okay. Okay. Me enfermo si como muchos dulces. Let's see, Jill. Okay. I get sick if I eat a lot of those sweets. Me enfermo Wait. si como muchos dulces. Yo no como dulces. If I eat. Si, I get six. If I eat many. If I eat a lot of sweets. That's better. A lot of a sweets. Lot of sweets. Good job. A lot of candies. A lot of sweets. Very good. And the last one. En mi tiempo libre corro aún cuando llueve. Marta. Edwin. Catherine. Henry Oscar. Irma. 
Ir mal. And my temple livery coral, when do you have it? In my free time. Mm -hmm. I run. I, I run. I run. Mm -hmm. Even? Even? When it's raining. Oh, ok, even when, ahora, no estoy ocupando presente continuo, when it is raining, mm. it rains, ajá, when it rains, acuérdese que el cero condicional es eso, presente simple versus presente simple, si esta condición se cumple, entonces el resultado ocurre, no es va a pasar, ocurre. Todo en presente es simple, acuérdense de eso y no se les va a olvidar esta esta como regla, ¿no? Una pregunta. Por favor. Uh -huh. Este, ¿cuánto cuánto sé que debo ocupar a lot o more? Gracias. Porque en la uh -huh. primera yo la había puesto it work a lot. A lot. A lot. Ok, ahorita, eh, déjenme enviarles esto. Ok, a lot, or a lot of, ambos se pueden ocupar con contables o con incontables. More, se puede utilizar al principio o después de incontables. Ok. Algunos contables como times, more times. I jumped more times than you. ¿Sí? Usualmente se va a ver al final. Cuando va después de un verbo. I need more. I want more. I have more. I drink more. I eat more. Ok. Uh, ¿Cuál es el otro? Much. Much para incontables. Many para contables. Ok. To. T-O-O. -O, ojo. T-O-O -O es un aumentativo de otros cuantificadores. Como ese. Como too much. Too many. Okay. Me too. Me too. Se puede ocupar el tú al final de las oraciones y es lo más común. Ajá. Uh -huh. I do too. I love you. I do too. Cuando es tóxico o oh, sí. Muy simplista, muy pan simple, ¿verdad? <risa> Te amo, le dicen. Sí, yo también. Right. Ok. Good. Any other question? I like that question. Much more, many, two, a lot of, few, what about few, or a few, I love you a few, okay, no, I love you a little, little para incontables, few, se puede ocupar en ambos casos, I have a few dollars, I have a few dollars, I have been here a few times. I've been here a few times. ¿Qué dije? I've been here a few times. He estado aquí pocas veces. Ajá. Uh -huh. Algunas veces, pocas veces. Very good. I've spent little time taking a shower this morning. I spent little time taking a shower this morning. No idea. Okay. Pasé I poco tiempo. Uh-huh. I spent. A veces me tardo poco en el baño. Perdón, Eduardo. A veces me tardo poco en el baño. 
No, está hablando en pasado. I spent little time taking a shower this morning. I spent little time taking a shower this morning. Another way of saying free time is to say spur time. What do you do in your spur time? What do you do in your spur time? Oh, when I miss the boat. Sorry, Ursula. <laughs> if I work more time, I get more money. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Okay, good. Let's move on. So what's up next on your workbook? Well, we have to read the procedure to request permissions at the DAC company. Let's take this example. How do you request permission? Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I was going to make a pause. Voy a hacer una pausa ahorita. Um, let's play something, shall we? English only. That's the only condition. English only. And this is a game that Eduardo may be familiar with. I, I invented. <laughs> I don't like that verb. I don't like saying I invented. I made up. I made this up, made up, make up, make up. I made this up in 2016, 20, yeah, 2017. It's called Guess the Character, okay? That's the name of the game, Guess the Character. So I have a character in my mind. I am the character. And you have to guess, who am I? Okay, who am I? You can only use the verb to be. Okay, for example, you can ask about gender, the color of the skin, the nationality, Okay, if you're married, if um, I am from such country, for example, are you, okay, are you white, are you black, are you a cartoon, are you an animal, are you a human, are you a man, are you a woman, are you old, are you black, you got it, you got it? No, you don't get it? Just make the questions. I am not your teacher. I'm just a character. I could be a cartoon, a man, a woman, an artist, a singer, an architect, whatever. Just guess the character. Go ahead. Are you a cartoon? Yes, I am. I'll take the positives on the chat. Okay. Are I'm you a, a toy? A toy? Yes, there are toys about me. Okay. I I could only answer yes I am. No I'm not. Yes I am. No I'm not. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, Reina, Eduardo. Come on, Jill. Yes. I'm a cartoon. There are toys. Are you a, an animal? Are you an animal? Yes I am. Come on, Reina. It's a cartoon, it's a toy, it's an animal. Colors, nationality, gender. What is your gender? Mm, that's an open question. Close question. Are you?
I can believe it. Come on. Catherine, Maria, Edwin, Henry, Oscar, Irma, Erling, Marta, Alexa, Jill. This is very simple. It's just a verb to be. Y se supone que es gracioso esto. Divertido. Are you, are you female? Are you thin? No. Female. Oh, are you a female? Yes. No, I'm not. Do you have long yeah. hair? Yeah. Verb to be, are you? Okay, 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 okay. Are you flying? Pero, so, ¿cómo diría, es tu pelo largo? Are you what, Eduardo? Are you flying? Uh, do you, um, hmm. Are you able to fly? Muy buena. Are you able to fly? No, I am not. Are you, buena pregunta. Are you able to fly? No, I'm not. I'm not able to fly. Cartoon, toy, animal. Ah, oh, okay. How do you say es tu pelo largo, Jill? Verbo to be. Verbo to be, adjetivo posesivo, objeto, adjetivo. Are you have long hair? Oh, close. Otra vez. Verbo to be. Are you, are you have long hair? Why are? Singular. Eduardo, singular. Is your. Is your. Have. Hair. Long hair. Ah. Is your hair. Longer. There you go. Is your hair long? Ahí está. Is your hair, your hair long? long? Good job, Jill. Uh -huh. Is your hair long? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Reina, come on, Reina. What about the are, color? Are, are you white? Are you white? Are you white? Uh, microphone, microphone. Oh, are you tall? Are you tall? No, uh, I'm uh, not. No, I'm not. Are you chubby? Are you chubby? A little, just a little chubby. Mm. Make the questions, Jill. Are you, are you, are you? Come on, Reina. <laughs> are you happy? Are you happy all the time? All the time. Even when I'm mad. I won't going to say how, even when I'm mad. I'm always happy. What is it? So, animal, cartoon, toys. Okay. What color? What is your color? Ah, close question. Are what is your color? Are you? That's an open question. Are you, are you white? Excellent. Are you white? Yes. It's a combination. So you got one color. Are you white? Yes, I am white. I am black. Are you? Black. Are you black? Yes, I am. Come on. Cartoon, toy, animal, white and black. Guess the animal. Are you, are you a lion? Are you a lion? No, I'm not. Good job, Ursula. 
No, I'm not. A lion, black and white. Are you a snake? <laughs> no, I'm not a snake. A snake, black and white snake. Are you daltonic? <laughs> Are you a zebra? Are you a zebra? I, yeah, zebras are black and white, but no, I'm not a zebra. This is so Come easy. On. Come on, Reina. Reina knows. Are you Ken from Barbie? <laughs> are you Ken? Ken is not black and white. <laughs> I look like Kent, but I'm not Kent. <laughs> Either one day. Come on, guys. It's just black, white, and animal. Uh, Guess the animal. Candy is not an animal. Well, Barbie says he's an animal. <laughs> Come on. Guess the animal. Are you a panda? No, I'm not a panda. I'm a cartoon. I can't believe it. Are you a Silvestre? A Silvestre, what is that? It's a cartoon. Are Silvestre? you Sil are you Silvestre? No. Are you Silvestre? I am not Silvestre. It's why I'm black. <laughs> are you a cow? Are you a cow? No, I'm not a cow. I'm <laughs> Okay, a clue, una pista, a clue. Okay, I'm very famous. You're just moving your mouth, Ursula. Jill, Alexa, Sylvia, Erling, come on. This is so easy. Come on. Hagan preguntas random así. Animales que sean blancos y negros. Come on. Cartoons. Silvestre is an animal, but it's not Silvestre. And panda is an animal, but it's like, not panda. Like, like Kung Fu Panda. A zebra, yeah. a zebra is a... Yeah, it's not... It's difficult? It's not difficult. You were raised... Jill, you were raised with this animal. Okay. Another clue. In real life, I may be in your house. I may be in Reina's house, in Ursula's, in Eduardo's. Are you a cat? A what? A cat. A cat. No, I'm not Felix. I am not. You're very Are close. You You're very close. No. Are you a Are dog? You fast? Fast? Yes, I am fast. In real life, but I'm a cartoon. I'm in your house. Are you a mouse? Yes, I am. So who am I? Who am I? Are you taller than your brother? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Ursula, who am I? Come on. You say my name. Mickey Mouse? Are you Mickey Mouse? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Finally. God. Okay, <laughs> you got it. Are you Mickey Mouse? Yes, I am. Man, that was difficult. So that's the best way to practice the verb to be. Now, let's guess... Reina's character. So, Reina, picture someone. Oh, por supuesto, alguien que sea muy famoso. Puede ser una mujer, un hombre, un animal, un cartoon, como pudo ver. Okay. Me, teacher. 
I okay. have a, a, a cartoon. Don't say it. No lo digas. Ah, okay. okay. oh, ya dijo que es cartoon. Okay, it's a cartoon. <laughs> it's a famous movie. Oh, okay. Too many clues. Okay, ready? Everybody? Open your microphones. Abran los micrófonos. Come on, come on. Vamos, rápido. Are you an animal? Eduardo, are you yes, an animal? Yes, I am. Okay, Eduardo, animal. Okay. He said he's a cartoon. Cartoon. Okay. It's a cartoon. No. It's a... Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. Don't, maybe, don't say, maybe. don't say. Maybe. Okay, maybe. So he maybe said cartoon. he's an animal. Maybe cartoon. Maybe cartoon. Okay. Reina, Jill. Okay. Erling. Reina, teacher, Ursula, Alexa. Ask me the question. Hi, are you cartoon? Microphone. Are you Batman? No. She's going for it. Okay. Are you black? No. Good colors. Yeah. Are you American? Yes, I am. Hmm. He's from the United States. Another clue. I live in a house. Our, oh, oh, my house is. How can I say with palitos? It's made of chopsticks. Um, okay. Hey, it's a mirror chopstick. palitos. What? Are you a bear? A bird. bird. No, no. Uh, you are near that my that my 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 character. Character, character. Character. So, animal. Character. Could be a cartoon or not. He's American. Lives in a, a famous, chopstick house. It's a famous movie. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Come on, guys. Are you a, a dinosaur? A dinosaur? No, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, another clue. I live in a, in a bosque. No. In, a, in the woods. I live in the woods. Oh. Are you a... Are you able are you able able to fly? Fly. Fly? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. Hmm. Not flying. Not flying. It's in a chopstick house. Are you Tarzan? Really? Are you Tarzan? No. <laughs> hmm. Are you uh, Again, the microphone. Are you are you a centipede? A sir? A centipede. A centipede. Yes. No. I have many friends in the woods and I have a, a holding a, a, a John a John Christopher Robin. Oh come on, really? Really? I, I know. Come on, guys, you don't know. 
Ya, ya no más pistas. Are you a donkey? <laughs> Eduardo. Alexa asks, I, are you a burro? Are you a donkey? Are you a witch? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. A okay. Donkey. So questions that you could have asked, are you gray? Are you pink? Are you bored? Are you bored? Eduardo should say, yes, I, I am. am sad. I am sad. I'm sad. Oh, are, yes, are you sad? <laughs> are you yes. sad? Are you depressed? Yeah. Yeah, Igor is always depressed. So that was the answer. Are you Igor? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Igor was very funny, but I'd rather have Topo. You know, Topo was funny as well. Okay. Hmm. So let's keep this rolling. Did you like the game? Uh, espero que uh, uh, si hubiese estado con ustedes en básico uno, hubiera hecho esto varias veces. Eh? Al inicio de cada clase, practicar el verbo to be es importante porque se nos olvida. Okay. And it's very useful. So let's see. Uh, on your next your next task, you are supposed to create procedures to request permission. We're just going to practice um, the stages of how it is to request a permission in your job. Okay, but como pides permiso en el trabajo? Es un listado de pasos a seguir. Fíjense que yo al principio decía con estos ejercicios, Dios mío, el programa era. No, qué aburrido, pero en realidad sí son útiles en la vida real. He estado viendo muy de cerca a un amigo que se fue para Texas y está trabajando de roofing, está trabajando de roofer, dicen allá. No sé si han visto ese trabajo. ¿Alguien ha visto ese trabajo de roofer? ¿No? Installing roof. Instalando techos. Man, it's so dangerous. So dangerous. So, he, él me dijo de que sí, era, era bastante difícil el trabajo, que ahí no hay necesidad de permisos porque un día trabajo, un día no. A veces tres días, cinco días de corrido, gracias a Dios, son 300 dólares al día. Bueno, la faena, ¿no? Así sería la faena. A veces terminan un techo entre seis, siete personas en mediodía, de ocho a doce del mediodía. Pero claro, o sea, no toda la maquinaria, búsquenlo en Google, es bien entretenido verlos cómo trabajan, es increíble, de verdad. Claro, es very risky, but I ask him, how do you do with permissions? I mean, going to the doctor, is it difficult? And he said, no, actually, it's important for them because he works for a company so it's different and yes he needs to print the request form okay it is available in the internet what is the internet do you know what is an internet no idea okay it's like the internet the internet but just for your job only if you work in your company, you can have access to the internet of the company. Websites just exclusively for the company. You fill out the form. You write the reason for the permission. Write the time and day you will be absent. Look at this. You will be absent. What is absent? Absent. Ausente. Just like the sun, right? El ausente. Very good. Specify. Specify. If it is due to. What is due to? Do you know this connector? Due to? What's the meaning of that connector? No, okay. It's debido a. Specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. 
ask for the department manager's signature. Okay. Present the form <clears throat> at the human resources office. The human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. If it is accepted. If the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied, denied. Okay, so the only thing I want you to discuss in small groups is, okay, step by step, does this work the same way in your job? Is this the way they do it? And if not, just come up here, okay? Here, how do you request permission in your job? Describe the procedure. Si no está claro, vamos a leer esto y vamos a ir comparando. Esto sí lo hago, esto sí no lo hacemos en el trabajo, esto sí lo hacemos, esto no. Ok. Y aquí vas a escribir cómo es. Ok. Que tú pides permiso. Cuáles son las circunstancias bajo las cuales pides permiso. Ok. Simple as that. Make sense? And we only have 12 minutes for this activity para terminar. Okay. This is, by the way, on page, what is it? 44. Page 44 of your workbook. Ya se los envío también. ¿Alguna pregunta, duda, inquietud, sugerencia? No. Todos estaremos participando o va a ser actividad individual. Eh, sí, en grupos. Yeah, I'm going to split you. Yeah, four to five students. De nuevo, si estás solo hablando contigo mismo, eh, me llamas para poder moverte de grupo. Ok, les suplico a todos, porque solo tengo tres estudiantes con la cámara encendida, que participen, por favor, para esta actividad casi que final. Recordarles que hay que terminar la plataforma esta noche. ¿verdad? Mañana lo reviso durante el día para asegurarme de que todos hayan completado su plataforma. Okay, let's go. Silvia, Erlin, Marta, let's go. First, print the request form that is available on the intranet. For example, in mi trabajo no imprimo, no lleno yo, no imprimo pues ninguna. Ah, ok. En mi trabajo sí. Yeah, okay. Sí, imprimo un formulario. Ok. Después llena, llena, llena el formulario. Okay. Mm. Llena el formulario, después write the reason for the permission. Escribir las razones para el permiso. Write the time in day you will be absent. Escribe el tiempo y el día que te ausentas. 
o no estarás o, o, o estarás ausente. Específico, 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 si es debido a, a, a razones médicas o a, o a razones personales. Personal. Sí. Ask for department manage, manager signature. Sí. Solicit, solicit. La Solicitar la firma de del departamento de, 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 de. Ah, ok del mana del departamento ajá department. present de, 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 from de, de, de. at the human resources office presentar el formulario a recursos en la oficina de recursos humanos o recursos sí verdad recursos humanos okay. Uh, the human resources assistant assistant ¿Cómo se pronuncia assistant 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 will receive the front in C it is inside inside is inside is it it's <laughs> ya otra vez. If, if it is accepted. If it is accepted. If it is. If it is. If it is. Accepted. If it is, ah, ok. Entonces, el departamento. No. La asisten asistente es asistente de recursos humanos. Pues sí, recibirá okay. el formulario y, y que sí. Lo firmará, sign es firmar. Sign. Y lo firmará. Ah, y lo firmará. Y lo firmará. Si es aceptado. Si es aceptado. Mm -hmm. Sí, if the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. 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 Denegado. Eh, si eh, si el asistente de recursos humanos no acepta el formulario, el permiso es denegado. Mm -hmm. Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues, sí. del proceso que yo sigo, eh, si imprimo un formulario, lo lleno, escribo las razones y escribo el tiempo y el día que me voy a ausentar, también especifico si es una razón personal y luego se lo entrego a, a, a la secretaria de mi jefe superior, porque tenemos un jefe inmediato, si es a él, no, sino que al jefe superior. Y ya después solo así, solo así queda. Y ellos se lo entregan a, a recursos humanos. Y no, o sea, yo supongo que ya me dieron el permiso porque nunca me... Eduardo, I think you're alone, right? Why? I mean, has anybody answered? Are you practicing with someone? I don't understand that it's a practice <laughs> it's because a practice. you oh. send the order to request for permission. Uh -huh. And the order is, a, is the same in my company. It's the same in your company? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let me take you to another group so you can just listen to what they're saying and compare, okay? Okay. Yeah. 
Doctor, por ejemplo, podemos decir um, I have to take my mom to the doctor. Ese sería el, ¿cómo se llama? El, el por qué. Mm -hmm. Or I have to go to the doctor today. Or I have to... Quizá más que todo, según lo que yo entendí, o como me estaba muy pendiente, porque soy bastante más este, es de que escribamos la manera en que nosotros solicitamos. Permiso. Ajá, por eso. Pero como igual tiene que haber una un por qué, para qué o qué. Sí, ya sea un juego de fútbol o algo así, ¿verdad? De importancia. Ajá. Por ejemplo, a mí me dan permiso, que me está muriendo. No Ay, no. Bueno, Ay, que... Ok, como le explicaba, era, eh, es a través de una plataforma en donde ingresamos. Si quiere, hagamos el suyo. Okay. Uh, in my work, it is through a platform to request permission for. Uh -huh. permission Pero primero, permission. you need to ask or bring oh. the paper. Where's ¿Cómo se dice enfermedad? Illness or sickness? ¿Quién va a copiar? Uh, yo creo que la compañera. Solo se trataba de conversar cuál es la diferencia, ¿no? Entre lo que está ahí en el libro y cómo es eh, el proceso para pedir permiso en su trabajo. Okay. Por ejemplo, en, perdón, en mi caso, no me dan permiso, pero se supone que sí. Es como, puedo hacerlo, eh, ¿cómo diría? Tell me immediate pause and explain the reason for the leave. Excellent, I can tell my immediate pause. Very good. <coughs> Perdón. It's okay, it's okay. 
que dicho, por eso yo no estaba muy activo y ahora que estoy bastante Sí, más lo noté activo. hace dos días o tres ya, ya lleva rato así, ¿no? No, hombre, toda esta semana estaba ahí bastante mal y <coughs> si hablo me da <coughs> problemas eléctricos bien fuerte, entonces. Por eso mejor he estado callado y, y, al, y no algo bastante ausente. Comprendo, no se preocupe. Ok. Vamos a Ya casi terminamos. Ok, bien, prácticamente hemos concluido esta noche, eh, mañana es nuestra última clase, puntos importantes, de nuevo recalcarles, hacer énfasis, hay que terminar la plataforma esta noche, o más tarde de mañana, durante la mañana, la tarde, uh, me ayuda mucho, la verdad, haciéndolo de esa manera, eh, porque es importante, porque hay que subir las notas a los resultados finales de la plataforma a, a un formato y pues eso se mide en Safor mañana. Y, um, el, el correo que han recibido sobre la encuesta de satisfacción, no llenar la encuesta. A eso se va a hacer mañana durante la clase para los que es primera vez que están. Eso no se hace eh, así individualmente. Es, es un proceso que hay que llevarlo a cabo durante la clase de mañana se le dedican 20, 30 minutos a eso, es muy importante. Y pues invitarlos a que, no sé si ya se inscribieron al siguiente módulo, espero que sí, supongo que ya les enviaron eso hace dos semanas prácticamente, para poderlo seguir viendo, pues y bueno, si es que ustedes han dicho, sí, este teacher está bueno, o está, no, no, estaba feo el teacher, mejor no, cámbiennos. Eh, entonces, si dijeron eso, pues no voy a estar yo, va a estar alguien más, ¿no? Eh, y etcétera. Entonces, eh, pero a si mí eso no me ha caído eso. ¿Así? ¿Ah, mm. No. Será parte mañana del de la encuesta. Eso se viene la encuesta, ajá. También. No la encuesta. También, no. No, ah, a mí no la sí, semana sí. pasada me cayó mi correo, confirmé y recursos humanos ya envió lo necesario, ya estoy inscrito. Ah, pero eso solo es para reconfirmar que uno va a continuar en el curso. En el siguiente módulo. Sí, siguiente pero si, módulo. si la mayoría dijo que no va a continuar, ¿qué creen? Ah, no, en teacher. Estamos mal. Ándale, no, hombre, no hay problema. No, sí, siempre dije que sí, pero nos han cambiado de teacher. Ah, bueno, sí. vamos a ver. A ver cómo sale. Ok, bueno, espero que pasen una feliz noche. Tonight, esta noche, eh, vamos a ver. Oh my god, eh, ¿con quién me quedo? A ver, ¿quién se quiere quedar? Jill, no nos hemos quedado. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿O no? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, Reina, repeat. Hoy nos quedamos todos. No creo que quieran. Si sí cuesta que estén las dos horas. Reina, give me ten minutes, okay, so we can practice. Yo sé que a Reina le gusta practicar. Con las tareas, teacher. Okay. Ah, bueno. Voy a revisar el cuadro. Ok, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Alexa, Marcela, Cibrián de Montenegro. Present teacher. Ok. Alisabel Campos Hernández. Dalila Abigail Hernández Meléndez. Daisy Carolina Angulo de Sánchez. Daisy ya no volvió a saber qué le habrá pasado. Edwin Esaú Galdames Calderón. Good night, teacher. Good night. Elizabeth del Carmen Vázquez Pérez. Erling Melquisedec Castro Cortés. 
See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Henry Giovanni Rivas Rivera. Good night, teacher. Good night. <laughs> Irma Noemí de Jesús Martínez. Thank you. Jennifer Beatriz Mejía Cepeda. Bueno, Jennifer, hoy. Jill Yvonne Mejía de Castellanos. Good night, teacher. Good night. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Hi, teacher. Good night, sir. Catherine Beatriz Reyes Ventura. Good night, teacher. Good night. María Epifania Castro. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Marta Marisol Castillo Valladares. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Reina Elizabeth García Alfaro. Good night. No. Aquí voy. <laughs> Sorry, Esmeralda Mauricio Ariana. No, y no es. Úrsula Esteli Gómez Martínez. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. How are you tonight? I am fine, but I am I'm very tired. You're tired. <laughs> Why are you tired? Uh, because I work. I work all the day. The whole day. The, Repeat. the whole day. 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 Pero eso, ¿qué quiere decir whole? Completo, entero, total. El día completo. And it sounds better. I worked the whole day. Más fácil, más fácil. Más fácil. Work, work, work. <laughs> work. Eso del, del pasado me ha costado siempre. No, ah, tranquila. I worked all day long. Bueno, otra forma de decir lo mismo. I worked all day long. I worked all day long. All, all day long. Long. I worked all day long. Mm -hmm. I worked all day long. Really? And do you work standing or sitting? Standing. <laughs> but, but yes, yes. But uh, today, today, había something. There was. Okay, but today there was. Um, there was. More traffic or much? No, um, well, there was more traffic or there was much traffic. Había más tráfico o mucho tráfico? Mucho, mucho tráfico. Okay, there was much traffic. Uh, but today there was much, very much traffic. There was. Había, uh -huh. Today, there was much traffic. Okay. Uh, so, wait, wait. Do you work sitting or standing? Work. ¿Trabajas parada o sentada? Sitting. Sitting. Okay. So, what do you do? And um, I organize documents. Oh, so you, you work in an office? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, I attend, attend, mm, attend many students. Students? Yes. Yeah. 
I work at the university. At the university, really? What university? What? El no Matías. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. Wow. Are you studying at the university too? Um, como le digo, soy, soy egresada. Oh, okay. So, I'm, uh, how, how do you say that? I, I, I already finished here in the progress. You're, I'm, uh, I forgot the word for, for that, really. So, you're, you're about to finish your career. Um, okay. About? About finish? to finish. About to finish. About to finish. About to finish career. What career? Uh, administration. Administration. A business administration. Business and then administration. Yeah. You know what? Egresado is a graduated as well. I forgot it. Yeah. Graduated. Business administration. Really? Hmm. Wait, how old are you? I understand. How old are you? <laughs> I am 25. What? You're 25 <laughs> and you finish your career. But, mm -hmm. but uh, me falta un requisito más. I'm missing. And that's English. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> so you, you need the TOEIC. Yes. That's a hundred dollars. No, it's like two hundred. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, 20, 20. Really? Twenty something? No, uh, no I, uh, I I paid sixty dollars last time. I paid sixty dollars. For the test. No, I was just playing, you know. Ninety dollars. Wow. wow, that's so money. Okay. And but when is your graduation? Or do you have to wait? Uh, Asta? Until I have toic. Until I have passed the toic. Well, Miha, you should get a gringo boyfriend. <laughs> 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 really? Really? Because you need to speak. Talk, 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 talk. The toic is not that difficult. It's not very difficult. Um, but, you... but I, I do, I want to do. I want to do listening and read. Listening and reading. Okay. Do what I told you. The wrong chan page. The wrong. Have you tried the wrong chan page? No me hablen chino. ¿Ha intentado ya la, la página de wrong chan? No. Y entonces, pues. <laughs> es que. Vale, yo no he intentado hacerlo porque considero que todavía no tengo el suficiente conocimiento de inglés para ¿Y, y, ¿Y quién dice eso? Muchos compañeros me han metido esa idea. Que, es que hay unos que van a intentar hacer el take y lo han dejado hasta por tercera vez porque se necesita cumplir con un puntaje de la segunda universidad de 500 puntos. Sí. Yo tengo 593 de de 595, ajá, 595, creo, creo que era el más alto. Y saqué 593. O sea, la prueba no es tan difícil. Hay pruebas más difíciles, eso quiero decir. No es que yo sea un nerdo, no, hay pruebas más difíciles. Ahora, eh, para alguien que aprendió por sí solo, creo que estamos bien, ¿verdad? Ahora, no, se mete en la cabeza que es, que algo es difícil, no, no, no. Y aunque lo, digamos que, que lo, lo hace Reina y falla, no pasa nada. Sí, ahora hay que mejorar. Entonces, y no se ve, deje 
llevar por lo que digan los demás, o sea, al final usted no lo ha intentado, ¿no? So, ánimo, ánimo, eso sí. Um, el sacrificio al final tiene su recompensa, hombre, y hay que de pelearse, reina, así de pele ahorita, si de verdad se quiere graduar rápido. A mí me da tristeza a veces, a mi esposa le pasó eso. Lo mismo, exactamente lo mismo. Le costó un año más de su carrera, o sea, ya había terminado. Y un año más para poderse graduar solo por no tener ese requisito, pero se puede. Y ella de dónde está? de ahí también ahora no sé. De la Matías. Total. Yo llevo, de hecho ya llevo el año, yo que, que estoy intentando aprender, así ve, aprender, pero todavía estoy. Ah, pues yo me considero uno gringo, tres, seis meses, nada más. Hey, sh, sh, sh. Yeah, I can speak English already. Bye bye. Es necesario, urge a alguien con quien platicar, eh, leer un libro. Ay, uy, ¿qué digo eso? Les tengo ahorita, me voy a poner a enviarles el, el, el libro que les prometí de Pablo Coelho. Ok. Bueno, well, practice. Y si necesita ayuda, ya sabe, ahí estoy. Ok. Good night. El siguiente, el siguiente nivel. Solo Dios lo sabe y en inglés corporativo. Ah, ok. Ok. Está ahí, ¿no? <risa> <risa> eh, mire, antes de que, que nos ¿Sí? vayamos, ¿Sí? Eh, sí, quería preguntarle algo que dice que mañana yo estoy preocupada. Porque eh, realmente tengo una actividad que hacer con unos jóvenes en la noche. Yo no he conectado a la clase siempre. Pero no hay problema si me conecto y, y se escucha algún ruido de, de las actividades que usted hace. La fiesta, la disco. No, no, la fiesta. <ríe> no, es que le voy a decir, la, yo quiero ir a una vigilia de joven. Ah, ok. A una vigilia de joven, pero yo me voy a conectar siempre. Uh -huh. Siempre a las dos horas, pero voy a estar en el también. No sé si hay... Sí, no, no habría problema, solo estar atenta porque hay un momento en el que vamos a hacer la... La encuesta de satisfacción y dice hay que estar sí. pendiente. Y por lo menos encender la cámara, yo, yo voy a entender cómo se ha fijado, ¿verdad? Que, o sea, cuando paso lista, encender la cámara para... Ya, nada más. Solo eso es le pido. Yo comprendo, hay cosas que no se pueden evitar, ¿ok? Bueno, entonces pues le agradezco mucho. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>